Great to have you with us on this Thursday. Tonight we begin with our new community focused initiative, Believe in Buffalo. Every week we will be on the road highlighting people and projects that make Western New York a place of pride. And new this week we are highlighting a special project and an extraordinary effort to provide new opportunities to the city of good neighbors while also combating an important issue in the Queen City, food deserts. Food deserts are areas with limited access to affordable and healthy foods. According to the United United States Department of Agriculture, about 19 million people nationwide have few fresh food options in their communities. And that's the case for many people on the east side of Buffalo. You can see here the limited resources available to people living not too far from the medical campus downtown. But there's a new plan on Carlton Street between Michigan and Jefferson to turn an old building into a brand new market, bringing fresh food to the neighborhood and also creating an economy for the community. My colleague and friend, Anchor Reporter Jeff Russo joins us live tonight on Carlton with the mission, the motivation, and the opportunities it can create. Jeff. Ashley, this historic building here at 238 Carlton Street can soon have new life. The African Heritage Food Cooperative is bringing its model of providing fresh produce and job opportunities from Niagara Falls right here to the Fruit Belt. This is a low income area here in North uh, Niagara Falls, and it's an area that's been looked over. But in a building on the snow covered streets of Highland Avenue in the falls, Alexander Wright is on a mission to help. If we're gonna fight poverty, we need to fight poverty with investment and with capital. And to do that, you need a business. That business is the African Heritage Food Cooperative. Wright founded the co-op in 2016 in an effort to provide fresh food and produce to areas of the city considered to be in a food desert. Folks here need to be able to walk and get healthy fruits and vegetables and water, and they need to be able to get it without being price gouged. Like most grocery co-ops, the African Heritage Food Cooperative is community owned and operated. Currently 250 members have access to fresh produce sourced by local farms, but contributions from several foundations are also helping the co-op provide free food to those in need. You don't have to be a member to shop here. You don't have to be a member to benefit from here. Um, actually, to be honest, 95% of the people we fed the past two years were not members because we, although we, are, we care about our members, we're here for our community. COVID has forced the co-op to focus on deliveries. Wright says close to 500,000 over the past two years. And the impact of the co-op extends well beyond food. We need to have businesses that employ folks um, in our community, that folks in the community own. I sell fruits and vegetables. Uh, I clean. Uh, basically whatever the, uh, the cost for. Alexander S. Wright, the owner's father, and Benita Cobb work at the co-op. That helps us out a lot because we get to get food and fruits and vegetables uh, for less than what we pay at the markets. Not just only here for the pay, you know, uh, here for the love too. And that love is now moving to the city of Buffalo. The African Heritage Food Cooperative has plans for a new flagship location on Carlton Street in the city. Wright plans to turn this historic building into a difference maker for the community, providing fresh food, employment and ownership opportunities to neighbors in the Fruit Belt. This place is going to be uh, a full service grocery. Um, you'll also be able to dine in. On our second floor, you're going to have a community space so folks can do their block clubs, uh, kids can come in here and do homework, we're gonna have free Wi-Fi. So we're very, very excited. What's driving you to do this? Why is this important to you? I want to build something in the community that's gonna take care of the community. You know, this can be a viable economic engine in this community for the next 100 years. Now, Wright tells me they recently invested around $70,000 into the Niagara Falls location for refrigeration and technology upgrades there. The co-op here 
Going to need around $3 million to kick off things here on Carlton Street. In fact, a major fundraising campaign is kicking off next week. And if you are interested in becoming an owner or just want to donate to the cause, you can go to myahfc.com. That's myahfc.com. The hope is to get the funds in place, break ground here next spring, and have this co-op ready to go in the late summer or early fall of 2023. For Believe in Buffalo, reporting on Carlton Street tonight, I'm Jeff Russo. Let's send it back to Ashley in the studio. Oh, Jeff, we hope we can get that money for them. I mean, we know that the need is great. Thank you.